Greetings, cinema fans and fanettes. I'm Hugh McClintock. And I'm Hugh Crimley. Welcome to another episode of Hugh Go to the Movies. The show where we go to the movies and compare current cinema to Martin Scorsese's 2011 masterpiece film, Hugo. Today's film, Oblivion 2, Edge of Tomorrow, starring Tom Cruise. I love sci-fi, I love yelling, and I like Emily Blunt's, so I bet Hugh can guess how I felt about this cinema. Not enough like Martin Scorsese's 2011 film Hugo. Ooh, there were lots of gasmos and gidgets in this cinema, but not one of them was a giant clock. It just felt devoid of imagination. Couldn't agree more, Hugh. I mean, Tom Cruise eventually finds an automaton, but it doesn't have a heart-shaped lock, it doesn't operate with a hidden key, and it certainly doesn't write cursive. Not for me. Sorry, director Doug Lemon, but you're not getting any Hugos from me. You know, for a movie about time travel, I just want one giant clock in the poster. Close, but no cigar. Also, not the movie Hugo. I also give Oblivion 2 zero Hugos. You know, every day Mr. Crudes went back in time, I just expected him to wake up in an old-timey railway station, and sadly, he never went quite far enough to see the beauty of a steam locomotive. I, I just... But what a bummer. Ugh, what a big pile of letdown, a real doo-doo rum. Join us next week for How to Also Train Your Dragon. Now, unless the world ends beforehand. Hmm. On Hugo to, to the, the Movies. <laughs> you know, I've been getting into a, a cult lately. I've been, I joined a cult. Now, are cults the ones with the big hats? No, no, you're thinking of uh, my Aunt Judy. She's mm -hmm. a Klansman. Tremendous art!